And then I look, because I'm watching this on my big iMac, right? And I'm like sitting. I'm, uh, guys, I wasn't going and looking for this, okay? And many of us, I saw in the comments, we weren't like looking for this, but our head is right there. And poor Nick is describing this all in super professional detail, all while his fly is down. What is up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Pop Culture with Pixie video. If you're new to my channel, hey, I am Pixie. I'm a no BS mommy vlogger. What you see is what you get and I don't tag nobody shit. So if you are into day in the lifestyle motherhood content and you're into commentary videos like this one where we talk about what's going on in pop culture and we talk about some stuff that's going on here in YouTube and we have awesome conversations down in my comment section, then you and I could totally be friends and I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. So feel free to click that subscribe button. Okay, you guys, so today I wanted to do a video that is a little, actually a lot less drama. <laughs> So many of you that left me some really great comments on that last Dad Challenge podcast video that I did, and um, I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate it. There are several new subscribers here that um, happen to feel the same way that I do when it comes to how he goes about things. So I just want you guys to know that I appreciate it. Um, but I am not going to make my channel into some like <laughs> Josh bashing channel or anything like that. Did what I wanted to do. I said what I wanted to say and I'm done. And now I want to move on to this. So let's talk about our girl Erin Williams today. So I know that there's going to be some of you here on my channel that may not be her biggest fan and I know that there's others of you that are like me and really really enjoy her. I truly feel that everyone in their life has made mistakes, has done certain things that we look back on and we're like wow I'm not really proud of that. Not my proudest moment but you know what you guys? Most of us learn really valuable lessons that way and that's how you grow as a human and that's how you become a better person is by making those mistakes, learning from them, and moving past it. And I really, really feel like Erin has done that. And she is on a roll this past year, opening Pecos Princess, her boutique that's doing very well. Coming back to YouTube, she had a bit of a hiatus for a while. And now with this new series called Nick and Erin, I, I don't know if the series is going to be called Nick and Erin, but the first episode was Nick and Erin. I'm assuming that's what the series is going to be called. I don't know. Now, some of you may have really liked it. Others may be like, I don't know. It's a totally different view of Aaron, but yet still Aaron, if that makes sense. So when you watch this, we are so used to seeing our mommy vloggers with the camera right in their face and they're vlogging and they're doing it all, right? They're, they're filming everything. They're filming themselves. You really feel at times with some of these women that you're sitting across from them, talking to them, having a conversation because it's so personal with them personally capturing every little event and then going home and a lot of them do their own editing too. <sighs> I don't know where some of these girls find the time in the day. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't even want to talk about how many of these I pound a day to get some shit done. Okay, I need to seriously rethink. I bet you these women are like in the 5 a.m. club. You know, you've seen those things on like Instagram where they're like, wake up at 5 a.m. every day and you're going to be so productive and make your bed right when you get out. Mm -mm, not me, honey. I'm waking up at 8.30 laying on the couch for an hour with my kids, putting in some waffles in the toaster, and basically by 11, I'm finally ready to get out of the house and do stuff. So Erin has hired a camera crew that is literally following her and Nick around, and it is very reality show-like. I was reading through the comments yesterday after it premiered, and there are so many of her subscribers that are loving it. And you know what? 
you would think because it's such a big change it's so out of the norm of what we see mommy vloggers doing i mean we've seen like shane dawson and jeffree star and really big youtubers like that are really big time vloggers they vlog that way with an entire camera crew and have people editing for them and everything and it's more of like a reality show but we haven't really seen it with mom vloggers at all and i was so pleasantly surprised because it's still very much Erin. And I'm just really curious to know if she still has a part in the editing process or if she's hired people to edit it. It's, it looks incredible, it really does. It's shot on several different cameras, obviously. Um, but who's ever editing it knows her very well because it's still very much Erin. You know what I'm saying? It's like now we're watching like a Bravo series of her, but it's still her. It's not like, it doesn't feel like alien at all when you're watching it, if that makes sense. At least I didn't think so. You guys might feel a little differently. I will be honest, I did back off of watching her content probably around the time that she moved to Georgia. And at that time, so we're talking maybe, what, three years ago that I really kind of took a step back. I was just feeling like I couldn't really relate to her content at that point. I felt almost as if she had become pretty censored, if that makes sense. Like you could tell that she was more aware of like what things looked like and, and doing more of the typical YouTube mom thing, right? Everybody was like dressing the same and getting the same vehicles and it just was like really bizarre to me <laughs> because I'm like the Erin that I absolutely connected with was like this chick that had just a normal home in Katy, Texas and her dad was like a ranch owner and I just really connected because it's kind of like how I was brought up. And when all this kind of like bouginess started coming out, I was like, no man, no, I can't. So I started watching her again. I had already always kept up with her on like my Instagram stories, but I really started watching her vlogs again when she had bought the ranchette. We'll call it the hell house. <laughs> the house that looked so amazing that they had all of these like internal issues with. But I was like, whoa, she just kind of went back to those country roots and i'm like yes this is the errand that i'm loving but she still was a little like guarded with certain things you could tell she was like i'm gonna kind of watch what i say stuff how a lot of like people have to be here on youtube right that's like like i've had small brands reach out to me and i'm like nope i don't answer any of them you guys because i'm like i literally don't want somebody telling me like what content I can make. I just want to be like, I do what I want. I say what I want. I am who I want, you know, but, but therefore I probably won't make any money on YouTube. So that's totally fine with me though. I'm totally cool with that. So then obviously the whole BLM gate thing happened. And at that point I had made a video on it and my feelings on all of that. I'll link it right up here if you guys are interested in that, but I'm not going to go into all that because we're, we've just moved. We've, we've moved so far past that. What I will say is after all of that, and Erin actually on that video, she did end up messaging me and I, I will always just kind of keep those DMs to myself, but I knew at that point that she was going to be taking a hiatus and I basically told her like, look, you take all the time you need because the people that have been your diehard subscribers that have followed you for all these years, we will be here. We will be here. We're not going anywhere. You know, just worry about your mental health. Worry, just do you. And then all of a sudden, it's like the day she came back, she came back giving zero shits, not scared of a single thing or person and is doing amazing, like doing amazing things. So she's very outspoken politically about how she feels. She's just very like honest and raw. And I'm like, oh my God, people are loving you even more because you're just like this honest, raw person. And we can all see through somebody holding back. We can all see through fake shit, right? I'm telling you, she is trailblazing with this reality series. Like so many vloggers are going to be doing what she does. And Erin, you just gotta know, like you are doing something right when that happens, girl. That is like the ultimate flattery when everybody starts copying your content. Okay, so let's talk about this series. So it opens up where it's just 
her basically like laying out clothes and getting ready to do some shoots for Pagos Princess to see how all that is done and many of you probably watched Tara Henderson too so we've kind of seen a little bit of the behind the scenes with all that like boutique stuff on Tara's channel um, but this was just really cool because like I said it's like filmed almost like a reality series so you can see so much more of what's going on and then her assistant is like a freaking natural like being on camera she's not weirded out they interact it's so comfortable and then it flashes to nick and we get to see what nick does and we know that nick like sells office furniture and we know that he like went in with a partner and opened his own business and is becoming very successful doing that but we didn't really know the ins and outs of what he did so Nick walks us through the Austin location that they're opening and gives us like a three minute tutorial on the correct way to sit in an office chair. <laughs> and honestly, you guys, if this was any other channel, I'd be like, all right, why was this put in here? You know, really, what's entertaining about this? But it's Nick. He's entertaining and I mean... I mean, no disrespect to my husband, because my husband is a handsome man. But, you know, I mean, Nick, Nick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it flashes back to Aaron, and, you know, there's, like, this dramatic scene where they're out to eat, and she's telling her assistant, like, oh, my God, my eye, you know, like, I had to have the surgery on my eye because I have these false lashes, and all this shit is going on with their eye. And there's, like, this dramatic music going on in the background, and I am here for it. I am loving every second of it. And I'm just gonna say, ladies, do not get lash extensions. Don't do it. I've heard way too many horror stories. Our girl Erin is going through something really traumatic with it. Go to Walmart, girl. Get you a pack of some Ardell $10 Demi Wispies. Glue those mugs on your eyelids, okay? And go on about your day. I have been wearing false lashes pretty much since I came out of the womb. And I have never had an issue. <laughs> so I don't ever plan on getting lash extensions. Especially after this whole like dramatic thing. Then after that, it flashes back to Nick at his office and he's like walking us through and he's like we're gonna do this we're gonna put in these sliding doors here and then and then and then I look because I'm watching this on my big iMac right and I'm like sitting I'm, guys I wasn't going and looking for this okay and many of us I saw in the comments we weren't like looking for this but our head is right there and poor Nick is describing this all in super professional detail all while his fly is down. <laughs> and at first I'm like, oh my God, did they not notice this when they were filming this? There ain't no way in hell, you know, there ain't no way in hell I'm commenting about it. And I was already planning on making a video about like how I felt about this whole series. And I was like, I'm definitely not going to say anything in my video about it. It's like one of those things when there's something embarrassing for somebody else and you're like, I'm just going to pretend that I don't notice it because you don't want to embarrass them any further. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, ah, oh, like I'm really bad about that guys. It might be shitty of me, but when somebody has lipstick on their teeth, unless I'm like really close to them, I can't do it. I can't be like, Hey, you got lipstick on your teeth hair. And it's not me being an asshole. It's just me like I'm like, oh, I feel like, like I, I don't want to, I guess, make them feel even more embarrassed. But then, yeah, I guess I'm an asshole because then they're walking around and probably seeing 10 other fucking people with lipstick on their teeth. But now I'm okay talking about this because at the very end of the video, they do some bloopers and some outtakes, which were really cute. And Nick looks at the camera and he goes, I think I just did all that with my fly down. And you just hear like the camera people laughing in the background. He's like, and man, he's quick with it. He just goes, well, I'm also the head of HR here. So <laughs> they are a fun family. I love how they can just laugh at themselves. They don't take themselves too seriously. I mean, something like that, a lot of vloggers will be like, crap, we gotta go refilm that whole thing. His fly was down, you know? But that's what makes this family so lovable and I'm so intrigued to see where this goes next because 
in the comments somebody was like can Netflix get them a reality show please and all that so who knows I don't know what's gonna happen and the sky is the limit for this family it really is um, I really really enjoyed it let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below was you know is this type of vlogging for you do you feel like it's too impersonal now and they're getting like too big for their britches are you gonna continue to watch yada 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 let's talk about it let me know but me personally congratulations nick and aaron and family i think it's amazing all right guys it's all i have on this i will see you in my next one bye